Schneider Electric has a long legacy. Way back in 1836, brothers Adolf and Joseph Eugen Schneider set up a company positioned perfectly for the Industrial Revolution. Fast forward to present day, and Schneider Electric is a multinational behemoth that's helping its customers get ready for the fourth industrial revolution of digitization. The focus of Schneider is to break the silo between that physical world and that IT world so that we optimize the usage of every place we live and work in. Jean-Pascal Tricois is looking to break down those silos. He's been sitting at the helm since 2006, transforming not only Schneider Electric's products and services, but also the company itself. In 2011, I decided to come to Asia uh, to show the example and to accelerate the speed of our development. The pivot east has paid off. The Asia-Pacific region generated around 30% of the total revenue for the company last year. And JPT, as he's known by his colleagues, even sits on the global CEO council of China's premier Li Keqiang. Schneider Electric is also pioneering when it comes to the environment. It recently topped a poll as the world's most sustainable corporate, with Jean Pascal insisting the company answers to more than just shareholders. We were one of the first companies in the world to go by the UN Global Compact Standards and every three years we've launched a new plan of progress that makes the company more sustainable in all the components of ESG. Of course, COVID has affected business. Plant closures, supply chain disruptions, and even shifting energy needs has seen Schneider Electric and its chairman and CEO navigate a crisis like no other. Sir, thank you so much for talking to me on Managing Asia. We know the whole world is really trying to recover from this pandemic crisis. As CEO of Schneider Electric, a global company with operations in more than 100 countries. How do you feel about 2021? Well, I think there's been already uh, a lot of recovery from uh, where we are coming in, in H1 2020. For a company like ours, our business was back to normal and growing from H2 uh, 2020. When I look at 2021, the situation in the world is very bifurcated between segments, between sectors, between markets. And uh, what I see is that this pandemic on, on somewhere, the 2021 episode of the pandemics will keep testing on the agility, the flexibility and adaptability of all of our companies. But all in all, uh, I would say that many sectors have been recovering. A certain number have been accelerated by the pandemics and some are still down because of the pandemics. Which sectors have been accelerated by the pandemic? We are the biggest provider of energy systems for hospital. We are the largest provider of energy system for data centers. Both of those markets or applications have been massively accelerated by what we are experiencing at the moment. Uh, the critical networks of cities were under pressure like water networks. Uh, the coal chain for food and pharmaceutical were also under pressure. But all in all, across all borders, what we've seen is that the pandemics has accelerated the need for digitization, short term. Everything that was digitized could operate much better than what was not.